Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are continuing where we left off last week with some vase research. So I said it last week, I'll say it again. You see all the time people find these vases in thrift stores worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So how do you know which ones are worth it? Well, you look at some that sold for thousands and thousands. Today, we are going to pick up where we left off last week. We are going to look at vases that sell for just above $2,000 all the way up to $4,000. If you want to see those that sell for more than four, go watch the video from last Sunday. And if you want me to show you vases that sell for under $2,000, let me know down in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first one did not come up. The name didn't come up in those highest selling ones, but this company makes a ton of items worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And I found a Steuben item, which is who it is, in a pawn shop. It was not worth thousands, it was only worth hundreds, but I bought it at a pawn shop for 50 bucks. So Steuben is definitely out there and this vase is absolutely beautiful. This is a Steuben Blue Aurene Tall Florist Swirl Vase. They did put rare, hard to find. This one sold for a best offer on $2,295. Look at this beautiful teal blue iridescent. I told you guys last week, the iridescent glass is one of my favorites. And here you can see it looking down, beautiful blue and pink. And I did wanna show you on the bottom edge here, so normally Steuben pieces will have a small S somewhere, but this one was actually signed. You can see it carved into the base there, Steuben, and a great sale at almost $2,300. This next vase is a fused glass piece that is really, and most of these are like pieces of art. This one is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is fused glass. This is a Mount Washington glass, Frederick Shirley fused glass Sicilian wear vase. This one sold for $2,500. Here you can see it up close. This one is absolutely beautiful. It's almost got abstract geometric shapes as well as those flowers, beautiful double gold handles. And I wanted to show you on the bottom of this one, I'm not sure if the name is in the bottom. It, the bottom is pretty worn there on the edges. So I'm honestly unsure how the seller identified this piece, but that was a great sale at $2,500. All right, up next is a Tiffany piece. And I have seen Tiffany vases just like this on Antiques Roadshow. I don't know if you watch it. I occasionally do and a few of these Tiffany's have popped up over the years I've been watching and most of them are worth quite a bit more than this one that I'm about to show you. This is a LCT Tiffany Fabril gold iridescent nine inch glass vase. They did put circa 1890 to 1920. They did accept a best offer on $2,495. Here you can see the top of this up close. This is another beautiful, beautiful iridescent glass vase. And on the bottom, you can see this one is actually signed in script. You can see the LC Tiffany and a great, great sale at almost $2,500. Up next is some Murano, and you probably wondered when, when Murano was going to come up in this list because we did not have any Murano pieces last week. We do this week, and this one was an auction, and it was for a pair of Murano vases. This is a pair of vintage Murano Vanini striped glass vases, purple, yellow, and clear. They did put marked, and I am going to show you that signature and tell you what this auction started off at. This one got 21 bids, sold for $2,513. Here you can see the bases up close, beautiful stripes on this one, very, very wide stripes. 
and here on the bottom you can see that this one is clearly signed Vanini as well as Murano and here you go starting price on this vase was a hundred and ninety nine dollars and it ended up going for twenty five hundred and thirteen dollars all right we had some baccarat last week we have another one and this i love this piece this one's a really cool one this is a baccarat vase nine inches multi-dimensional crystal and box super cool swirl there almost like a elegant staircase this one sold for twenty six hundred dollars here you can see it up close beautiful beautiful crystal vase and here it is showing it in the box so they did have the box they didn't show the signature on this but you can see that red baccarat sticker and it was in the original baccarat box and a great sale at twenty six hundred dollars up next is a groovy pottery vase it is pear shaped this one would not have caught my eye i would not have guessed it was worth what it sold for this is a groovy matte green pear shape with five leaf and buds. This one is circa 1905. It was signed. This one was only seven and a half inches tall. They did accept a best offer on $2,654. Here at the top, you can see those buds. Really, it's a really cool vase, but I would not have pegged it for selling for over $2,000. Here on the bottom, you can see the Groovy name. I was not familiar with this, so definitely one to add to the list and a great sale at $2,600. Up next, and I think this next one shows very, very well that retail price doesn't really matter when it comes to reselling or purchasing an item on an auction some items go for well above what their original suggested retail was and others like this next one go for way below so this was almost a three thousand dollar sale but the price tag on this originally was twenty nine thousand dollars this is a heron kagoshima joseph cesar limited edition the retail was twenty nine thousand dollars it sold for twenty nine hundred ten percent of retail absolutely crazy this is a beautiful beautiful vase with the cap you can see the pheasants there and i did want to show you here on the bottom it does clearly say joseph it has the haren mark and also kagoshima and again $2,900 sale so it was a good sale but it was only 10% of what it retailed for at $2,900. All right we have another John Lawton. We had one last week and I absolutely love John Lawton glass. It is absolutely beautiful and this is another one that sold for thousands. This is a John Lawton 1994. This was a 24 pound paperweight or vase. It was eight inches tall and weighed 24 pounds. I don't, that is absolutely insane. It was eight by nine, so almost square. They accepted a best offer of on $2,850. And here you can see this one up close. Beautiful, beautiful flower clusters on this. A very, very thick glass. And here on the bottom, again, you can see the John Lawton signature in 1994. Great sale and a great name to look out for. This one sold for almost $3,000. All right, we have not yet had any Fenton in these high dollar vases yet either, but the next two items are from Fenton, and this first one I'm going to show you is a really cool Vaseline glass vase. This is an extremely rare 1920s Fenton Vaseline Topaz rib optic stretch vase. It was nine inches. They accepted a best offer on $2,900. Here you can see the vase up close. Really, really cool with the stripes as well as the rib on the bottom. And here you can see it under the black light. This bad boy glows like nobody's business. Beautiful, beautiful vase. 
I did want to show you it here the bottom. This is not a marked or signed piece of Fenton. So you would need to identify that using another method and a great sale at almost $3,000. All right, this next Fenton was an auction. It only got one bid, and it, that was for $3,000. Personally, I feel like this vase was worth a lot more, and if it was mine, I probably would have had it on Buy It Now because it would take a special collector to want this vase, but I think this piece is super, super cool. This is a Fenton Burmese one-of-a-kind this was a retirement gift for someone. So it has many vases or many artist signatures. Again, it was an auction, but only got one bid at $3,000. Here you can see it up close. So what happened here was all of the artists actually painted something on this vase for M. Wagner. How this ended up on an eBay auction, I have no clue. But I want to show you another picture here from the top. You can see everybody wrote their notes to her. This is so amazing. I, I, I'm kind of sad that it was on an eBay auction. I feel like it should have been kept in that family. But, you know, we don't, we don't know what happened. Here again, looking in on the rim, you can see they wrote no more time clock, no more standards. Here is another one. This is kind of cool. It says, good luck from Francis and they put a million dollar price tag on this vase this was just a super cool personalized gift and again i i hate to see it on ebay auction but watch out for stuff like this this is one of a kind i i probably would have priced this sucker at like five or ten thousand dollars i think it was worth more than three thousand so here is another picture of the bottom you can see all of the artists signing it so Sold for $3,000. Again, I feel it was worth more. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think this one-of-a-kind vase with all these different pictures from so many artists, was it worth more than $3,000? Let me know. All right, next is Roseville Pottery. Most Roseville Pottery is not worth very much recently. It hasn't, it hasn't been selling for much. This piece is an unsigned piece, but this one sold for thousands. This is a Roseville Pottery Cremo Vase Art Nouveau. This one was early 1900s. They accepted a best offer on $29.95. Here you can see it up close. The color variations in this are really, really cool. Great contrast. And I did want to show you here on the bottom. Again, this was not marked. And this one was a great sale at almost $3,000. All right, up next is another Lalique. This one is not your typical Lalique. This one is really, really cool, and it sold for over $3,000. So this Rene Lalique Patina Sepia Glaze Black Enamel Dahlia's Vase sold for $3,250 in pounds, which is $4,166 US dollars. So over $4,000 on this one. Here you can see it up close. Super cool with the dahlias. I love the detail on this one. And on the bottom here, you can see this Lalique is not etched or signed in. This one is more of a stamp into that pottery. And this was a great sale at Again, over $4,000. All right, we are up to our top three. Super exciting. Top three. This first one is another iridescent glass one. This is a signed abstract Fulvio Bianconi Benini iridescent art glass vase. This is an Italian piece sold for $3,599. Here you can see this vase up close. I love the oil spill look and I wanted to show you this one on the bottom is marked Vanini down there at the base and then if you look on the bottom of this one it is actually signed as well. This one is from 2003. It is signed Bicconi and an absolutely great sale at almost $3,600. All right, we have another Italian piece. 
this is this piece is cool i think it's one of the coolest vases i've seen it's a nautilus shell and this one's actually sterling silver sterling silver vase this is a stunning vintage Bucilati sterling silver nautilus seashell vase they did put centerpiece in mint condition they accepted a best offer on $3,945. Here you can see that shell from the back or front, whichever way you want to call it. Beautiful, beautiful sterling piece. And here it is fully displayed. This is an amazing, amazing piece of art in sterling silver. And I did want to show you this one is stamped Bucilati Sterling. So you definitely would know. I don't think you're going to find this one cheap because it's so clearly marked sterling. And that was a great sale at $3,945. All right. We are up to the top one and it actually sold for a little bit less than the last one. And this is another one I really wouldn't have pegged as being worth thousands of dollars. It is a vase with fruit on it. This is a stunning Royal Worcester twin handled Campania sham shape Campana shaped vase hand painted fruit. This one sold for $3,837. Here you can see it up close again it's fruit it, i mean it is very well done beautiful beautiful gold on this one but i would not have pegged it for selling for thirty eight hundred dollars now here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked royal worcester and made in england as well as 2157 which is probably an item number and this one was a great sale at thirty eight hundred and thirty seven dollars all right, that is the end of part two of this series. If you want me to show lower dollar vases, let me know. This has been super fun. I hope it kind of opened your eyes a little bit, taught you some more things to look for when you're out at estate sales or thrift stores or garage sales. And that's the purpose of doing these videos. Research, learn a little bit, kind of get the pictures into your head. So you're like, wait a minute, I saw something like that on a video. So you'll remember. And I appreciate you watching. I am on a plane on my way to Phoenix. So I hope you all have had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will be in Phoenix for the week. My husband and Dalton are at home holding down the fort. My daughter Brooke is coming with me. So I hope to see some of you in Phoenix this week. If not, watch us live. You can buy a camp listing party live ticket and watch from your home. So I hope to see you there. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.